Did you know elephants spend their time eating 12 to 18 hours? This is Danny from Dance English. What are we gonna do today, Varo? Today, we're gonna be talking about animals that live in Africa. In Africa, yeah. Okay, and not only that, today we're gonna talk about Africa, but we're gonna make another video talking about different animals in different countries. Is that right? Yes. Oh, by the way, this is a globe, yeah? <laughs> this is uh, our new toy. Can you show our audience uh, where Africa is? This is Okay, this is Africa, yeah? Okay. Alright, so tell me, Varo, what animals live in Africa? I, I know that there are a lot, yeah, but how many are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to be talking about four animals that live in Africa. Are you sure it's four? There's a lot more. Okay, so now we're going to start with animal number one, yeah? What is it? My favorite animal, the old hmm? cat. Oh, Cappy. Oh, Cappy. Okay, what kind of animal is that? It's a mammal. Okay, and then? Um, it has stripes like a zebra. Mm -hmm. It's tall like a giraffe, and mm -hmm. it also looks like a horse. Okay, what do you know about Okapis, by the way? They live in Africa. They okay, eat and we just search uh, online, yeah, and they live specifically in one country called. Congo. I think it's the Republic of Congo. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Okay, Congo is around. Oh, here, yeah. This one, yeah. Congo. Congo. Okay, if you can see it, yeah, you can zoom they it. Live in Congo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. So they eat grass, yeah? yeah? Okay, good. So what's next? The second animal mm -hmm. is an elephant. Okay, what do you know about elephants? Did you know elephants spend their time eating? 12 to 18 hours a day yeah. that's a long time yeah uh, do you know their diets they eat grass only that they also eat other plants and what else do you know about african elephants african elephants use their tusk to protect themselves mm -hmm. from other predators mm -hmm. okay uh, if you don't know guys tusks are these two sharp big things usually the color is white yeah and what do you call this very long nose it's a trunk trunk and what do they use it for um they use it to eat and drink mm -hmm. and other things so their so when they eat their trunk mm -hmm. functions like an arm mm -hmm. oh so i they, see so one they, big arm yeah they, so they grab their food and then put the food in their mouth Elephants, I already told when how mm -hmm. elephants drink, they use their chunk, mm -hmm. suck up the water and it's made their mm -hmm. mouth. And one thing that I know is that uh, elephants cannot jump. Yeah, they is cannot that correct? Talk. Yeah, mm. that's right, because um, they're too big. Oh, I see, okay. And also the differences of mm -hmm. an elephant and an Asian elephant mm -hmm. okay. is... Which ones are bigger? African elephants, mm. they have bigger ears, but Asian elephants have smaller ears, mm -hmm. and that's... And how about the colors? I think Asian elephants, some Asian elephants are brown, I think. Mm -hmm. And African elephants? Grey. Oh, okay. So do they have lighter color or darker color some, compared to the some Asian? Some elephants, some African elephants are darker color and some are lighter color. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Very cool. Okay, can I put it over here? Oh, but also, okay. Anything else? Um, elephants take a mud bath to protect their skin from mosquitoes mm -hmm. biting their skin. Oh, just it's, like that animal, it's a, yeah? It's an extra layer. Oh, I see. All right, can I have the okapi too? Like, because you'll be talking about the other animals, which is what's the next Rhino. one? Rhino. Rhinos. Okay, rhinoceros, aka rhino. Hmm. Okay. Rhinos use their horns to protect themselves from predators. Okay. Like lions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Do they have like a um, arch enemy? Like they always fight this one particular animal. Do they have that? Okay, because what I know is hippos, their arch enemy is crocodile, right? Yeah. Okay. The northern white rhinoceros, there's only two mm -hmm. northern white rhinoceros left in the wild. Yeah, 
and all of them are females yeah <laughs> and last year uh, the last male died which is so sad last boy <laughs> and people also hunt um, rhinos for their horns <laughs> that's too bad yeah and also nothing right now serious mm -hmm. people hunt them they keep People keep on hunting northern white rhinoceros mm -hmm. for their horns to make medicine. Ooh, I don't okay. know what type of medicine hit. Mm -hmm. um, the same as the elephant, rhinos also take a mud bath. Oh, okay. And to protect their skin too. Yeah, yeah. an okay. extra layer. <laughs> okay, I think uh, what we read yesterday, uh, the what is it? There are only two females left, and scientists now are trying to put them in a what you call a breeding program even though one female was uh, pulled out that means there's only one female left in the breeding program with the hope that uh, she can have baby and then make the population bigger okay enough the last, and next the last animal is the giraffe wait it's not the last animal because we have hyenas oh yeah oh, okay so this is the fourth animal oh yeah yeah the giraffe Okay, well, what do you know about that? Giraffes have long legs and mm -hmm. long necks. I can see that. So, so the reason why giraffes have long legs mm -hmm. to attack their predators. Oh, I see. And they also have uh, brown spots. Yeah, so if a giraffe is so far away, mm -hmm. the brown spots will make the giraffe look like a tree. Oh, camouflage. Yeah, camouflage. Mm -hmm. Other animals like zebras mm -hmm. use uh, stripes to confuse predators. When there's a herd of zebras and mm -hmm. they run, the predator needs to guess which zebra is which zebra stops running and which zebra is beginning to is to begin running. Oh, that's I the see. that's very that's, clever. That's yeah? the power of confusion. That's <laughs> The That's power of confusion, guys. <laughs> Alright, and they have uh, tiny horns on their yeah, head. Tiny horns. And a very long tongue, yeah? Yeah, a blue tongue. Hmm, okay, cool. They use their blue tongue to grab the leaves from the tree. But there's another reason why giraffes have a long neck mm -hmm. to cause to attack other giraffes. Oh, okay, and what do you call it? A neck fight. Neck fight, yeah. So we have a AKA, jaw fight and we have a neck fight. AKA Necking, okay, Necking. right. They attack other male male giraffes, attack other male giraffes to get the females and get babies. To mates. Yeah. yeah to mate. I think in, in all animal kingdoms, I think uh most of the land that's what they do, yeah. They fight to get the, the female, yeah, yeah to have babies. Males. And also what I learned is that uh, it has a very strong heart to pump the blood through the long neck. So that's why the long neck uh, it doesn't pre prevent it from you know circulating the blood because uh, it has a very powerful heart. Yeah. Okay, right. So we come to the last animal and hyena. that's a, okay, hyena. Yeah. In, okay, you were telling me that uh, actually hyenas are very good uh, for the nature. Yeah. Why? So sometimes hyenas hunt in packs mm -hmm. and sometimes hunt other animals but mm -hmm. sometimes they scavenge to find leftovers mm -hmm. from carnivores so and what's the benefit of uh, them doing that they keep the african savanna clean hmm okay so um, the other animals uh, eat first and then the hyenas will so eat the leftover this, and so that will make the environment so clean so if the carnivore mm -hmm. doesn't finish a leftover mm -hmm. and then the hyenas will come and then eat it okay wow but that's very clever yeah hyenas also don't eat lions because lions are stronger right yeah. and they always uh usually they fight and each other but right hyenas eat lion leftovers it's a leftover from a lion oh okay. and then I can the see that. and mm. then the hyena will eat Mm -hmm. And you what? If you guys watch uh, King Lions, I think you will know that. Lion like, King. Lion King. Okay, sorry. Yeah, they they you know Simba. common enemies. Yeah, Simba, Simba and, and Hyena. Mufasa. Mufasa. Okay. All right. So that's our discussion for the animals of Africa. Okay. And what do we have for next week, Varo? 
next week we're going to be talking about animals that live in Australia. Australia, nice. Okay, so um, maybe while waiting for next week, if you have some recommendations of what kind of animals that we can talk about from Africa, please type in the comment below and let's see if we can talk about uh, those animals oh, next week. Also, yeah. Hmm? This is a series. Oh yeah, this is a series. That so means... there's going to be mm -hmm. five parts. Five part, parts, yeah. Part five is going to be uh, the no last spoiler. episode. No, no, no. Ah. It's going to be the last episode. No spoiler, yeah. No spoiler. Okay, five so we're gonna be, we were making five videos, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, videos. The first is uh, the animals in Africa, the animals in Australia, which is gonna be next week, and, and the other three. Yeah. So yeah, we're talking about. the third place we're gonna be talking about, we're gonna say the third place. We're gonna spill the name yeah, next spill week, yeah. The name and the. Okay. All right. So I think that's all for today. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Varo, for uh, sitting here with me. Like this video. Like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. Subscribe. Yep. Share. And don't forget to share and, to your friends. And also write in comments what's your favorite African animal. Mm, okay, that's a good my idea. My favorite is okapi. Okay, cool. Well, my favorite I think is the fireflies. Huh? <laughs> fireflies. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. And this is Jenny from Dance English and. Okay, and see you next week. Bye! Yay.